Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. This is High Lord Tamburlaine, and these here are some interesting models that I have shanghaied from my younger brother. They're from Cobblestone's Future Wars line. These are their Scavenger Scouts. Doesn't really have anything on the back other than their website, which you are more than welcome to check out because they do have quite a lot of interesting stuff there. Yeah, we'll take a look at these guys. So recently my brother you might know as Barzan has picked up a copy of Zona Alpha, which, from my understanding, is heavily influenced by games like Stalker, which he's really into. And he just loves himself some scraggly-looking post-apocalyptic survivors. And so that's what these guys right here are. These are their scouts. So I can see him getting these painted up quite quickly. They're all single-cast models for the most part. Modern weapons. Good amount of detail. These are obviously hand sculpted. Quite Slavic in design. And I'm sure that's intentional. And I know that's what Barsam's going for with his Zona Alpha model. So that's definitely where these guys are going to end up. And more than likely, we're probably going to end up playing on our battle systems, Shantytown maps. Lots of holes, lots of patches, lots of haphazard equipment all slapped together. Definitely something, if you're in the mood for survivor type models with a bit of chunk to them and in metal as opposed to, you know, the more I don't know waif-like resin models of stuff like Fallout Wasteland Warfare or something. I, well, I mean, these guys probably could hang out quite well with them. Let me grab one of the Fallout models I've got, just to give a, a good look-see here. Alright, let's get at least one model actually standing on a base. And we'll get a couple of my favorite post-apocalyptic survivor types here. Eden model. Now, Eden tends to be quite large, so maybe that's not the best choice. They're big dudes, and the Sagarians are quite tall here, so maybe... Let's see what else we got. An actual Fallout model. Hey, that seems to scale pretty nice, doesn't it? So if you wanted to use these as raiders or scavies or mutants or whatever, I think that would work quite well as I'm pawing around here looking for any other bases, at least just to give them a good sense of scale. Yeah, that definitely would work. And I don't think it'd be too out of scale with our Brotherhood of Steel friend here. Now, maybe, obviously, if they're having a face-off against power armor, but in that case, you know, well, they should be a little outclassed. Grabbing a random Dark Age model, my favorite. I think that's Elijah, wasn't it? Hmm, it could work. I mean, he's tall, muscular, and, you know, been living out in the wasteland, so maybe he hasn't had to suck it up as hard as the other guys are. I don't know. Grabbing a random Malifaux model. Malifaux every now and then has some interesting models that would make for good survivors, scavengers, scragglers, denizens of society, types like that. So that might be an option as well to look into if you've never considered that. So these, whoa, these were the scouts. And honestly, eh, they're cool, but they're not as cool as the other models he has here that he wanted me to show off. These are sewer scavengers, and if anything says a Barzan model to me, it's sewer scavengers. That's just, yep, we need filthy vagrants. Oh, yes. This, this is, this is right up his alley. This is like Necromunda filthy vagrants. Look, look at all the junk he's got. Oh, this is great. This is great. I mean, obviously, they're going to be totally outsized by modern Necromunda stuff, but... Oh, yeah, look at that. You gotta have the face mask. Scarves, patches, holes in everything, all kinds of cluttered equipment. I, these are great. This this is what I expect from scraggly post-apocalyptic survivors. Now, I guess the only thing that's really missing is a bunch of weird bionic implants, but obviously if you're going for a bit more of a realistic touch, that wouldn't really be something you want. But again... Really nice sculpts. Lots of detail there. Did 
definitely would work great as Raiders in just about I think pants are all ripped up there. So yeah, if you want to use them as some kind of insurgent force as, you know, humanity's trying to recover, heck, put them in Walking Dead. I think these would be great zombie apocalypse survivors if you're going to play any kind of tabletop skirmish campaign style game. And obviously they are built to scale with our scout friends here. So I could definitely see a nice functional warband for Zona Alpha. Now naturally I'm going to have to get some mutants and scientists because who wants to play as boring humans? I gotta say, you get a fair amount of models out of each pack, too. Five guys is not a bad deal, considering uh, what some of the alternatives are out there. So, definitely a nice, little, interesting set of models. And if you're curious as well, take a look at Cobblestone's site. We'll put a link down there in the description below. And you, too, can have your own sewer scavengers scavenging your tabletop soon because that sounds like fun and i really i'm i'm gonna hope that barzan can get these painted and i can show them off and i they better be suitably filthy and just drenched in agrax earth shade and lots of fun mismatch tones because that's that's what these guys need so hopefully we'll get to see that soon with that said this is i lord tamberlane with obscurities and miniatures and thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon Bye bye